People often accuse footballers of being one-dimensional, but the individual who we've travelled to see in the Suffolk countryside is anything but. He's intelligent, he's quirky, and he's a German with a sense of humour. He swapped his fold-up bike for a tractor, and he's on loan from Fulham at Ipswich. It's Moritz Volz. Hi, Natalie. Should we have a little walk? Yes. In the, in the, in the grounds of your palatial Let me show home. you my grounds. Very nice. I mean, you're so popular at Fulham. Did it surprise you how well the fans received you? Um, you know, as an outsider, I suppose. But you're the longest serving player and um, it's something of an icon down there. Um, yeah, I don't feel like an icon down there. You know, whenever I was down there, I felt like just one of uh, many players. Yeah. Um, but I thoroughly enjoyed my time there. Um, you know, the whole area. I I got so in love with the with the whole area of Fulham that um, you know I had all these ideas for community work and and uh, getting things going. And I got involved with a a, fr um, a project that my friend set up, the Snack Project, which mm. uh, stands for Safe and Neighbourhoods Awards Channel uh, Challenge, and uh, it ask kids and, and youth uh, groups in, in Fulham to do something to make the borough better. Now, aside from the football, you, you kind of have these other little projects, like the, the charity project that you've talked about, but also you've done a maths A-level and a biology A-level. Yes. What's your motivation for those two? Um, math A-level, I... I've done for seven years. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's what? How, that's how good I was. What about the immediate future with Ipswich? What are your hopes for the club? Um, yes, you know, we, we did have a rough start with uh, too many defeats mm. and uh, also too many draws. So we're not in a position right now where we want it to be. Um, we're looking to get into the playoffs at least. Um, we're looking to make a push for promotion. Um, and right now we're in, in a bit of a no man's land situation, which is the worst situation you can be in mm. um, and so the, the good thing really is that we've got uh, a lot of games coming up in the next two weeks because uh, in the championship you always seem to play which is great and uh, we really need to make a push now. Well good luck with it all, it's Thank been lovely to much. see you, you're a breath of fresh air in football.